Hi, my name is Florante and welcome to the Freelance channel. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to install and add your self-hosted WordPress sites to the WordPress desktop app. Now, if you haven't downloaded the app on your computer, you can head on to this link and choose the appropriate installer for your platform. Now, since I'm making use of a Windows 10 computer, I'm going to click on Download for Windows. Once you have completed the download, just click on the executable file that was downloaded and hit install. And click on finish. Go ahead and log in to your WordPress.com account. And if you don't have one yet, be sure to create one first. So I'll go ahead and log in. All right, now you can see that I do have here one website, which is a self-hosted site. Now to add a new website or a new self-hosted website, what you need to do is to go to the website that you would like to add. Now, unfortunately, you are not able to add your self-hosted website right from the desktop app. Because if you click on add new WordPress, it actually brings you to a window where it requires you to put in a WordPress.com website and not your self-hosted website. So what we need to do is to go back. So I do have here my certified freelance.com site. And I'll go ahead and install Jetpack by WordPress. Now, after installing the plugin, I'll go ahead and activate this one. And I'll go ahead and connect to WordPress.com. This will actually enable me to add this website to my desktop app. So I'll just link, make use of the same WordPress desktop app that I used earlier. And I'll hit approve. All right, so that should be good to go. What I'm going to do now is I'll head back to the desktop app and go back to my site. And uh, let me see if there is a refresh here. Okay, now. You can see that there is a link, a clickable link up here that says switch site. Now, what you need to do is to click on that one. And you can see the list of sites that you have. So there is the certifiedfreelance.com site. I can just switch to that one. Or if I wanted to add a new WordPress, again, that's for a WordPress.com account or a WordPress dot com website so that's how easy it is to add your self-hosted wordpress site to the wordpress desktop app for windows if you haven't subscribed to our channel please don't forget to hit subscribe leave us a comment and hit like and you can also visit our websites that's all about podcast.com as well as certified freelance.com thank you and i hope you have a wonderful